Hi all, welcome back. My name is Praveen Balan. Today we are going to start a new series of videos and it is all about Microsoft Endpoint Manager or Microsoft Intune. One of the powerful tool currently available in the market to manage your endpoint. Be it Windows, Mac, you know, Android, iOS, all these devices can be centrally managed from Microsoft Endpoint Manager or Microsoft Intune. And I will start with configuring Intune for basic setup and then we gradually add more and more features into it. And I will try to cover useful features of Intune in a series of videos. So if you like such videos, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel that helps. In this video specifically, I am focusing only on Windows 10 enrollment. So one point that is worth mentioning here is like you will have two types of devices, you know, one is your personal device, the other one the company owned devices. So when we are talking about Intune enrollment, we enroll the personal device as well as the company owned devices. In this video, we are only covering two different ways of registering your devices into Microsoft Endpoint Manager. One is called AD registered. The second one is called Azure AD joined. So in the AD registered, what we are doing, we are following the concept of bring your own device. You can bring your personal device and set up that personal device to access the work data. And the second part of this video, I'm going to talk about company on devices wherein which we use Azure AD join concept. We join the company owned or the corporate devices into Microsoft Azure Active Directory and then enroll automatically to Intune and then manage a lot of configurations. You know, it can be BitLocker policy, it can be configuration policy, compliance policy and so forth. So there are two DNS entries that you need to create specifically for Intune registration. It's uh, one called enterprise enrollment.yourdomain.com. I'm using cloudgear.org as a domain today. So I'm creating those entries. One is enterprise enrollment. The other one is enterprise registration. The, the value for all these records are already given part of the description. Please go through it. So once you have done with the DNS registration, what you can do, you can go all the way to endpoint manager and go to devices and under windows enrollment you have something called cname validation and then if you have multiple domains managed under the same tenant then you have to validate the cname for the domain that you plan to enroll the devices so in this case i'm using cloudgear.org so i am going to verify the cname for cloudgear.org the next thing we need to ensure that Intune is set as the MDM authority in our tenant. So for that, you can go to tenant administration under the endpoint manager admin center. You ensure that you are using Microsoft Intune as the MTM authority. It is by default the Intune, but just verify that you have set it right. And the third one. This setting is also very important. Ensure that you configure configured the automatic enrollment. It does not work with very basic licenses. The licensing details are given in a description below. So in, if you have the Azure AD premium, this step is also very important. Ensure that you configured as shown in the screen that the MTM user scope, you can either set it to a set of users or you set it to all. Please note, that the MAM user scope takes precedence. So let us keep for now as none at the moment for MAM and save the configuration. Our tenant is now ready to enroll the devices. It can be user driven or automatic enrollment. So if you're planning to have a user driven enrollment where you don't have the uh, required licenses for processing the automatic enrollment go to your PC and download Intune company portal and then you can initiate the enrollment process as it is shown in the screen. So when you open company portal and it will ask you to enter the username and password use your work email address and password and continue the process of enrolling the devices. 
ensure allow my organization to manage my device is checked and then click ok so once the initial process is over it will also ask you to register the device as a st second step this step will not be required to complete the automatic enrollment so now we will have to register the device just proceed with the registration connect device to work that step you have to manually process if it's a user driven so once that is done then your device is registered with Intune. Now we can go back and take a look at the Intune admin center or the endpoint manager admin center to ensure that this device is showing up there. And at times I've, I have observed that it takes a bit longer period depends upon the replication, the speed of the internet and all that stuff and it is definitely cloud, it takes its own time so probably you may need to wait for like 15 to 20 minutes to show this up in your Intune but it appears in the Azure Active Directory almost very quickly. The device that we registered using user driven approach is displaying in Microsoft Intune Admin Center. Now let's see how easy the automatic enrollment. So I am going to use BYOD02 device for auto enrollment. All you need to do go to settings and then go to access work or school and connect your account with this device and the backend process of automatic enrollment or automatic enrollment will kick in automatically as long as you have allowed this user account to do the automatic enrollment in the previous step that we have done. So demo user is part of the automatic enrollment group because we set it for all users if you remember. And it takes a bit of time to display it under endpoint manager admin center. But if you go to Azure Active Directory and look at the devices tab, you will be able to see the new device which is added. And now the third one is Ash ready join. This is nothing but the corporate device. We are not talking about the personal device or the bring your own device now. We are talking about the corporate on work device. Like we, we join the PC to local Active Directory. In this case, we are joining the PC to the Azure Active Directory. So to start the enrollment process, click on connect. We are going to choose another option which you can see at the bottom of the same wizard. Join this device into Azure Active Directory. Click on it and provide your work email address. In this case, I'm going to use the same demo user at cloudgear.org. So let's join this device to Azure Active Directory. So now all we are all set. Intune enrollment for this Azure AD join device will also kick in automatically at the background because we have set for an automatic enrollment. You can already see that it is showing as Azure AD joined not Azure AD registered like we've done for the BYOD devices. And the MDM is also showing as Microsoft Intune which means the automatic enrollment is already kicked in. So now we know that how easy is to set up a Microsoft Office tenant for Intune enrollment, right? And also the bring your own device registration to Azure Active Directory. And also if it's a corporate device, what type of method that we use to register or join the device into Azure Active Directory. If you like such videos and if you want to get notified about the new videos when I release them, please do not forget to subscribe and also click on the reminder button. I'll be back with another video very soon. Till then, this is Praveen Balan signing off. Bye.